What's up, y'all? It's your boy, man. Welcome to the channel where anime and manga means more. And I just got finished watching um, Afro Samurai Resurrection. Okay, now, the movie starts off like... Um, he just got done, you know, remember, he killed, you know, the, the number one. And now he became number one. But he didn't want to go down that path, you know, of being number one and live this life where everybody's coming at you and all that kind of stuff. He just went out and it, was, I see, it seems like he was trying to be a hermit, you know, and just make little, <laughs> he was making like little uh, wood carvings of people, whatever. I, I don't know why, but he was just, you know, chilling, cooling, whatever. Um, but the thing is, like they said in the first one, this, and which is, this whole story is based around this. Once it starts, it don't stop. It does not stop. He didn't want to be number one. All he wanted was revenge. And that's how he lived his whole entire life. All the way up from the point he saw his dad die, all the way up till now. That's how he lived his life. So it was no going back, period. Even though he wanted to go, once he got finished completing his job, he was like, okay, now it's time for me to, you know, go chill. No. Remember how I said it in the other review and at the end of uh, uh, Afro Samurai? At the end, he didn't have anything. What did he really have? He had nothing. And that's how they started off with this one. He didn't have anything. I mean, everything was gone. All he had was revenge. And what happens is this. Stuff from his past start coming up to catch up to him. It was no end in sight. They said, once you became number one, you're just number one. Period. Till you die, you're number one. That's it. Because negativity only attracts negativity. And what I liked about the story is it was still entertaining, still fun. Uh, but what I, uh, you know, what I didn't like was I, it kind of seemed like in the beginning, like they're just trying to get some people for, you know, for uh, uh, Afro to face. It seemed like that to me. They brought in some guy who got killed off twice. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, what's the dude? Kuma, the Kuma bot dude. Um, they brought him in. I, I'm thinking he should have been gone because he almost got killed the first time, came back. This time, he got killed again. He shouldn't even existed. You know, it was like they're just trying to bring some people in to have, you know, for him to face. Outside of that, everything else was excellent, especially the ending. I don't want to really give it away, but what he did with that kid. That gave me goosebumps. That gave me goosebumps. And throughout the whole thing, all they kept re uh, uh, reiterating was this cycle of revenge. Even the people that was coming after him became like him in order to beat him. Matter of fact, they became worse than him. Like everybody that Afro killed was because, either because they were trying to kill him or he had to go through them to get to you know, avenge his dad. Outside of that, nobody else got hurt. You know, even though what he was doing was bad, outside of that, nobody else got hurt. These people was willing to torture people, kill anybody, to get revenge on him. They became worse than him. That's how bad this cycle of revenge became. And so the story was pretty, you know, deep in that regard. And what they did with that kid was, that was just excellent. That was like a story of itself in itself. He, the, the kid became the same thing he became, period. The same thing happened to him, the cycle keeps going on. And as they, they even said it a couple times in the story, they said it don't stop. His dad said it doesn't stop. Once it starts, it don't stop. This is just cycle of revenge. It keeps re, you know, repeating itself. So now it's other people out there you know, living their lives like that. And this, in this story, like... In the, in the first one, you know, the first se uh, series, all these people were just people that was coming after him for that headband or different things like that, trying to see glory. And this one, Resurrection, everybody was coming to him. Most of them was coming to him because of revenge. Most of them. And the people that didn't come to him because of revenge, he went to them for revenge. Not revenge against them, but for revenge against the people that with you know with the number one headband. Yeah, he, he he felt like he had to do it. That's it. Um so all in all the story's still entertaining. This one seemed a little more dark. You know, it seemed less entertaining than the first one. 
But that one message that they sent with the kid and, and, and how, you know, revenge, you know, repeats itself, they really hit harder on this one than the first one. Although I like, I, I, what am I saying? I like the first one better. I like, I mean, I like the, uh, the series better than this movie, but the movie was good. And I mean, the end gave me chill bump. So, yeah, I really thoroughly enjoyed it and I really recommend it. You know, very entertaining. Uh, a lot of fights if that's what you into. A little bit of good story in it. Uh, and that kid thing, that part was great. But go ahead and leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Rate the video and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.